Hi everyone, my name is Kemi Salola. I am the Sarcoidosis UK Charity Ambassador. Today, for Rare Disease Day, I'm going to show you guys a day in the life of living with neurosarcoidosis. So in this video, I'm briefly going to show you my morning, afternoon, evening and nighttime routine and how I deal with neurosarcoidosis throughout the day. Here we go. So in the morning, after a bit of a struggle to get up, I must admit, um, I open up my blinds and open the window to get some air. And then I sit down, do some meditation, sometimes read as well and prepare for the day. Then I go straight downstairs and get the kettle on and I have a herbal tea. Um, this is like a charcoal one, which is really horrible, but it helps me start for the day. I have my water to take my medicines, which I keep in a box like this to stay organised. So after I've had my herbal tea and medication, I go upstairs and get ready. So I like to have a nice warm shower. I find that the steam helps with any brain fog or tension in the head. And then I come back down to prepare for breakfast. So this is like a little ideal breakfast that I'd have. So yeah, here I've got some plain yogurt, banana, apricot, and some granola. All right, so I've just had breakfast. It's around 10 o'clock, and this is the time when the tiredness really kicks in, and I have to have another nap. So I try and stay downstairs just to get a little rest. The sun tends to really irritate my eyes, so I'll close the blinds, and I'll just have a light cover and just get some rest. So I'll probably have a nap for like an hour, an hour and a half. I try not to sleep for too long, even though I easily could, but obviously I want to be productive. Um, so one of the things that helps me to do that is an alarm system. So I've got this watch that really helps me to stay organized. Here's my laptop with my calendar. So all of that syncs to the watch. So the morning is pretty much done. It's around 11.30 and I've got like an hour and a half till lunchtime. So these are like my key hours where I can really try and get some work done. So I start in my room at my desk. I do some vocal warm ups to just prepare in case I need to record. As a singing songwriter, um, that's what I mainly do. I'll use my computer and my notepad to write some ideas and create some songs. But I often get very tired and, and have to take some breaks in between because my eye hurts or I get a headache. Um, so I'll just sit out for a bit, but once I'm feeling better, I'll just go back straight to it. Um, even if I do a little bit, at least I can always come back to work on it later. Um, but I try and record some ideas while I can. Then I go outside to have a break and get some fresh air. Um, if I can, I'll go to the gym instead. For lunch, I like to have something from the night before that I can really eat and something quick to prepare. And then I usually end up having like a Zoom call or a conversation with someone. Okay, so now the video call's done, I'm gonna get ready for the evening. I'm actually going to a vision board planning event, which I'm really looking forward to. I think it's something that's really gonna help me, especially with the condition and having to rearrange things um, in my day to day. So I think this will be really good. Um, I don't go out all the time in the evening, obviously, uh, because I get very tired and it's hard to travel and it's cold, but every now and then just to stay active, um, and to you know keep doing what I need to do for my career I do plan events um, for the week and I tend to separate them so that for example I know after tonight tomorrow I'll be quite tired so I'll have a late start for the day so that you know I have time to balance out and recuperate so yeah I'm gonna go get ready yeah I've just got ready but here's my bag that I love to take with me it has so many compartments um, I can literally take everything I need um, like my evening tablets with me, um, my notepad, hand sanitizer, creams, anything I need. And of course, I have to have my herbal tea with me on the go. These are amazing to keep me calm, um, especially when I'm taking public transport. But occasionally I do take cab too. And he here is the venue. The venue was gorgeous. Um, and here's the class. We were writing and planning things, um, which is really handy. And here's a quote that I loved, which I just wanted to share. I thought it was really inspiring. I felt really good after, so I took the train back, but I had to take my time. So I just got home not long ago. Um, it's quite late. Usually when I get in um, from events, especially if earlier, I would love to spend some time with the family or just get some relaxation time. But it's already quite late, so I'm going to go straight into my nighttime routine. So have a wash, get ready to sleep. Um, and I'll just show you briefly just some of the things that I do to create that relaxing sleep environment. So I have this humidifier, we can put oils and it changes light and this is amazing. It really keeps the room nice and calm. I also have a flask with some cool water um, that I may need during the night and my window is always partly open to give me some fresh air. So that is my day done and now I'm ready to go to sleep. I hope that you got something um, from me sharing 
um, it was hard to pick the type of day I would share but I thought I'd do one which had a bit of you know what I do but also um, you know a quite easy day not one of my worst days which should be very hard to film as well it was kind of like a good day actually to show you um, and a simple day what I could you know do when I'm feeling okay so I hope you enjoyed it bye